Emergence of millions of mayflies from the Mississippi River. This National Weather Service radar from two days ago gives you an idea of the scope of the swarm. You can see the aquatic insects emerging from the Mississippi River near La Crosse, Wisconsin. The bugs only live for about a day, but as Nina Moyney shows us, they leave a mess for the ages. Very fortunate to look out the window at this and look at the bald eagles. From a typically serene backdrop of the Mississippi River near Red Wing. The lights turn on, they love the white light, and here they come. Emerges a very different view once every year during summer. That's where all the piles were. They were underneath all the lights, and uh, next day is cleanup time. Lockmaster Tim Tabari's crew cleaned up some 30 massive mounds of mayflies over the last couple of days. The piles were up here. Here's a dead one right here. They know to expect mayflies will emerge from the river annually to lay eggs and die within a day. They're wet and they're heavy. So Tabri and his crew hatched their own cleanup plan. I'm guessing thousands of pounds. Nothing high tech, but it works. Pull out the water hoses and the 10 tine pitchforks, and it's uh, two guys yesterday, they were working for almost six hours, and they feel it in their backs. Once the mayflies land back in the water, they leave behind a stinky scent for days. Dead fish uh, with a mixture of, <laughs> it's not good. Dealing with the yearly disturbance has become part of the job. The fish are happy, the staff here at Lock 3, no, it's a, it's a lot of work to clean up. So. <laughs> Perhaps the price to pay for an otherwise uninterrupted gorgeous view at work. Nina Moyni, WCCO 4 News. Mayflies do play a big role in the ecosystem by providing food for fish and birds. Scientists say a large emergence of mayflies is actually a sign of a healthy body of water. How about that? Still gross to look at, though. Lots of bugs.